when we hit the driver, we've got to accept that we've got a club that's got less loft and it's a little bit longer. So we do have to change a few things in the setup. So when we set up, we need to push the ball further forward to promote a, a shallower angle of attack. So basically I want the ball to be opposite my, my lead armpit here. So fairly far forward in the stance. With my, with my trail foot, I'm just gonna stand a bit wider. That's also gonna promote a more shallow attack, okay? Which is what we need to get the ball up in the air. So we want to have the shaft more or less vertical, okay? And then like all shots, I need to get that K position. So I need to push up forward a little bit with the hip here onto the wall. And I need just a little bit more lean back than I would with an iron. So I've got, I tilt my body a little bit further back this way. So I have a little bit of a steeper shoulder tilt here and set up. Again, that's just to promote the, the shallow hit. From the back, okay, we've got a longer club. So we're not gonna be as far over as we would be with the irons. We're gonna be just slightly up. We still wanna keep the back fairly straight, chin up, and get the arms hanging. But we're just not, we're gonna have, like I said, a little bit more of an upright setup. Now on the back swing, what we want to be able to do once we've got the setup right is to get that club to come away fairly low to the ground. Okay, we want to promote a low, a low takeaway here. We want to avoid getting the too much wrist hinge here and tilting the shoulders too much this way. Okay, we're going to have to then uh, correct everything coming down to try and get that shallow, shallow attack. So we want to maintain our body angle. The best way to do that is to get that club head arcing away low to the ground. Okay, so from the back, the club head's going to arc away low this way. Okay, it's not going to hinge up too much like this. Okay, so if we can get that club arcing low, low away this way, makes it easier to stay in this body angle. Okay, so that's what we want to promote that there. So you can see at, that, that at this point here, when the club gets to parallel to the ground, the shaft, the shoulders should also be more or less parallel. We want to avoid that type of look where you get too much hinge and too much tilt. Okay, so low and around this way. So from this position, I start to lift the club up with my arms. Club head's working behind my body. And this left arm is gonna pull the, the shoulder more away from the wall, okay, until I get under my, under my chin here. So that's my setup. First move low and around, okay. Arms continue to, to move the club around and up. Left arm pulls the left shoulder a bit off the wall. I wanna try and maintain the left hip on the wall, okay. That's the best way that we'll be able to maintain our body angle, our body shape. So we need that feeling, get into this position. We don't want to, to get this overturning this way, the whole body. So we want to feel more like we get pulled into a turn, okay, so that we can maintain our body angles. If we just try and turn the, the shoulders together and the hips, we'll tend to get too far away from the wall. Too much to do to get back down now. I've got to correct all my body, my body angles. So I want to get that more of that feeling, even though I've got a driver, I want the, the arms to pull me into a turn. Okay, so at the top of the swing, if I get my arms pulling me into a turn and I keep my left hip on the wall, I'll get some pull in the left side of the body from the left hip right up to the, the upper part of the left arm here. Okay, I want to feel that stretch. Okay, now when I start down, I want to try and avoid getting too much body turn. Okay, I want to feel like I'm more accelerating with the arms and holding the body closed. Okay, so there's our backswing. So as I come down, I'm trying to keep my body shut off this way. You can see I've created some, some depth here in the, the knees and the hips on the backswing. I'm trying to hold that as long as I can on the downswing. So my club will attack more from the inside and the club can then arc around nice and shallow into the ball. Okay, what we want to avoid is from here is getting everything to turn too early this way, shifting the club out. Okay, so I'm either going to come across the ball that way, too much from the outside, or I'm going to have to go under with the body to try and go to hit from the inside. So we want to get the, really get that feeling as we come down that we're holding the left knee, holding the left hip. Okay, you can, you can bump across a little bit, but it needs to be more feeling that you're accelerating with the arms, the club's dropping down to a shallower plane, and then working around in, in, a, in a nice shallow path to the ball. Okay, so another important difference with the driver to the irons is that we don't want to lean the club so much. Okay, we don't need so much shaft lean. We actually want the shaft to be fairly straight when we hit. So when I hit against the impact bag here, when I, when I hit with an iron, I'm always trying to hit with the shaft against the bag. And with the, with the driver, I'm just trying to more deliver the club face on the bag this way. So I can practice little swings, just setting the club nice and low, 
Then the arms pull me into a turn, swinging with the arms on the way down, holding the body, and then delivering the club face to the, to the back of the bag here. So we want to practice that feeling of letting the club head release here so that the, we can hit with the full loft of the club. Okay, so by, by making sure I'm releasing the club so it's going to be straight again at the bottom here, one, I'm, I'm going to have a more shallow or, or a more slightly upwards attack angle. Um, I'm delivering the full loft of the club. The more I lean it, okay, this way, then I'm taking loft off the club and I'm also uh, hitting down too much on the ball. So from the back, it's going to look this way. Club works around, arms lift the club up behind me. As I come down, I'm trying to hold my left side of my body firm this way, not, not clear it too early. So that my arms and club drop down more this way, the shallower plane. Then I'm trying to release the club head to hit with the club face with its full loft. So important is body shape at the start, a bit more angle, setting the club nice and low, don't hinge it up with the shoulders tilted, let the arms pull you into a turn. Okay, you should feel some coil in here. And then as you start down, you're trying to hold that left body closed. Okay, so you're not trying to open up the left, the left side of the body too early, but trying to hold it as the club works down. And now the body can start to, to rotate with the club. Okay, and we can release the club. So we get a nice shallow angle of attack here. Again, we've got that body shape, that impact with the left shoulder higher than the right. Okay, we can release the club through and the arms again gonna pull the body through into the finish. When I